First of all, congratulations on the fight. Thank you. Uh, now, you were making your cut down to 155 for the first time here, mm -hmm. and you were able to handle Colin Fletcher by wrestling him a little mm -hmm. bit. Is that something that's going to be a part of your game now, is taking people down and ground and pounding them? Yeah, I, you know, at any point I felt, as soon as I tied up with Colin, I knew I could take him down and control the fight there. But, uh, you know, even in the first when I got on top of him, I, I let him back up, you know. Uh, I, I was scoring well on the feet, and I felt in control there. I, I, you know, I knew he couldn't hurt me, so I kept it there. And at the end, just to solidify the fight, you know, I, I, got, I scored the takedown. But he was durable, and I knew it was going to be tough to finish him, you know. So uh, I, I just played my cards right, and... Uh, you know, carried him through the fight. He's a big lightweight. Were you able to handle his strength with no problem? Yeah, he was He was strong and really big, long, you know. Um, but in the clinch, I was able to, you know, pace myself, pick and choose the position and not worry so much. At, at welterweight, as soon as I tied up, it was like full out exertion, you know, trying to hold position, trying not to get pinned. This fight, it was. I felt great. To be honest with you, it was a great feel out fight for me coming back to lightweight, tying up with him and, and stuff. I really felt comfortable. So this is my weight. Going through the uh, the Ultimate Fighter and then and then having the finale and fighting uh, those number of fights at welterweight, did that add anything coming back here to lightweight or was it just two different worlds? Yeah, it added a ton. You know, like I said, as soon as I tied up, I was like, oh, I could stay here all day. You know, I, I didn't have to really fight for position. If I was up against the fence, anytime I wanted to turn, I could. I was very calm in the clinch and also the um, the power too. Right, I would get hit, and uh, I knew right from the beginning he couldn't hurt me. So I was as long as I kept my chin down. Obviously, I'm not going to walk around like this. But uh, uh, yeah, the power was a, a huge difference for me, big difference. If you had had yeah. maybe a, a, a little extra time at the end of the third round, it, it seemed that you, you had controlled the back. Do you, do you think that you, you could have got him if you had a little more time on your side? Yeah, if I had more time on my side, I could have worked with and, and finished the submission. The arm bar was less, a quick arm bar to try to get it. You know, I, I was in a bad position, but it was just to try to score a finish. But um, if, if I had more time, if I had another minute, a minute and a half, I feel like I could have secured a, good, a better position and, uh, and, and got a, a submission. I heard you had a couple words with Nate Diaz afterwards. Yeah, Nate Diaz, I mean, he always has words for everybody. I, I mean, I don't know, you know, what his problem is, but um, uh, he doesn't seem to like me too much. But, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't really know what his problem is, but, uh, yeah, that was all him. You, you don't have any kind of prior thing with him? I mean, is that kind of out of nowhere? No, I mean, him and his brother kind of mouth off to me, maybe because they know I'm from TriStar and, uh, you know, I'm affiliated with George or, and Rory, but... Uh, you know, I have nothing against the Diaz brothers. I'm actually a huge fan of the Diaz brothers. I love watching them fight. But, uh, you know, if he doesn't like me too much, that's his business. Not gonna, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. But he's also in your weight class. If mm -hmm. you had the opportunity to fight him, would you? Yeah, well, I mean, if they put the fight together, for sure, 100%. But, you know, Diaz has been fighting at lightweight for a lot longer than I have. You know, I'm just establishing. He's a top 10 guy. He's a top 10 guy. You know, I just got my first win. So, I mean, years down the road, right? Who knows? But uh, as of right now, I don't see them putting that fight together. Was this a lot of pressure for, for you, not only uh, coming into the Bell Center here in your hometown of Montreal, but also being on the, the pay-per-view main card? I mean, did, was this, you know, kind of just a, a different level for you in terms of preparation? Just Yeah, it was it, it was something that I was looking forward to, though. It was pure, pure excitement. You know, everyone has butterflies before a fight. Uh, George was telling me earlier this week, you know, it, it never goes away no matter how many fights you have. Um, but when I got to the, the venue tonight, there was a different sense of, of calmness that I had. It was... It was something different, you know. The excitement took over the nerves. I was more excited to fight than I was um, nervous. So Colin's kind of a strange character, uh, a yeah. strange-looking character as well. What do you think of him as, like, you, you, you seem like you traded some words with him throughout the fight and mm -hmm. afterwards. Was that just kind of like, wow, are you really, like, representing <laughs> MMA like this? Or uh, You know, he's actually a really, a really cool guy. Um, we took photos, you know, before the fight together. Uh, we spoke, respectful guy, I have nothing bad to say about him. I actually, at the weigh-in, I didn't shake his hand, but I was kind of waiting, and I was like, oh, he's not shaking my hand, so I left. You know, I didn't really mean to snub him like that or anything. Uh, even during the fight, there was a few words, you know, but uh, very respectful guy. His image really has nothing to do with his personality uh, whatsoever. But his fighting style is a whole other, other story. Lanky, you know, unorthodox guy. Uh, Throw strikes from different angles, uh, off rhythm. It was very, very uh, difficult to uh, to figure him out. Uh, you know, I figured I was going to knock him out earlier, but um, I didn't start landing the left hand till I till I closed his eye and uh, didn't have enough time to put him away. He kept coming. He kept coming out with a lot of spins too. Was that something that threw their, your timing off? Oh, of course. Uh, you know, striking is all about angles and uh, and distance, right? As soon as I would get a good angle and get my distance, it was like he would start to spin and move and. With stuff like that, you have no choice but to, uh, you know, but to evade. You're not going to get hit with something spinning. You know, it's it's nobody wants to get knocked out like that. I ain't getting knocked out like that. So, uh, so yeah, it was very difficult to read him.